Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial on the Scratch Programming Language by MIT. So in the last uh, lesson we created a loop which caused our sprite to go from left or uh, from right to left every time it hit the edge. So I want to make that look a little bit better, a little bit more animated. So I'm going to use the same code but improve upon it. So I'm just going to click over here, going to go to my stuff and I see I have scratch loop here I'm gonna see inside and I'm gonna save a copy of it and I'll call it loop 2 we just save now okay so let's run it just to see what it did so the cat meows and it goes into this uh, direction here, it hits the edge, it goes back and it's going to keep doing this until it hits the edge back over here, I'm just going to give it a little help and it's going to continue back and forth forever so let's make this look a little bit better every time it hits the edge, like over here I want the cat to to turn in the direction that it's going so in order to do that I need another uh, um, I need another costume for this sprite. So here I have two costumes. So I'm just going to duplicate them. And as a matter of fact, this looks like it, like the uh, cat or the sprite is running. I'm going to want to go back and forth with this too. So every time he makes a step, um, switch the costume so it looks more animated. All right. So here we have our two new costumes. I want to flip them. So I'm just going to click that button there so they can change directions. So now, perfect. He's going in the opposite direction. And let's go back to our script. So now in our program, what we're going to want to do, let's see, every time it it's going in this positive direction here we want to switch the costume okay so let's go to looks and we're going to go to switch costume and let's see right now the costume that it's originally using is costume uh, we want it to be costume one so we'll go back to costumes here make it costume one Go back to script, and so when it, oh, let's stop that. So when it hits that edge, I want the costume to change to costume three. Costume three will look like that there. And once it hits the edge again, I want it to change back to costume one. So once it hits this edge over here, I want it to switch back to costume one perfect so let's put this over here let's go ahead and run it hmm let's see ah let's stop this let's change the sprite back to costume one and let's give this a run and it switched perfect and let's just help it along here and it switched again perfect every time it's hitting the edges it looked like it's switching give it a, another help here perfect okay so I also want it to look like it's moving so every time it steps in a direction um, I want it to switch the costume so I need to see what direction it's in so I need to use a control so let's see I'll put the control here and we need to do a condition so we need an operator like that and we need to know which direction it's in so if the direction is equal to Ten. 
then let's see if the direction is 10 then we want it to move in the um, in the the op in the opposite direction so move we're going to want it to move and then switch costumes and then wait and then move again and switch costumes and wait so let's let's see if we can do that so move we're going to have it switch costumes and which costume is it going to switch to well right now it's going to be costumes one and two because we go to here costumes one and two um, make them look like that and costumes three and four make them move in the opposite direction so so we're gonna want costumes oops costumes one we're gonna stop that and then we're going to want to move again so I'm just going to duplicate this put it here and we're going to want costume number two and then I could just duplicate this whole thing else we want it to be costume three and costume four okay so let's put our cat in the middle here or our sprite let's go ahead and click our green flag and now we see a nice little animation of him moving every time he makes a move he switches his costume so it makes it look animated and then it hits the edge and switches costumes so perfect so this is looking good um, I don't like this white background here so right now our stage background is this white drop here so let's go ahead and choose a backdrop and I kind of like this blue sky. I'm going to cl double click that. Perfect. And let's give this a run now. And it looks like our cat or our sprite is um, just moving along, just skipping away, just having fun. Pretty cool. So. Um, thank you guys, and I hope this uh, video was helpful. I can uh, definitely uh, answer a few questions, and I'll make sure that this code is available for you guys as well. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for watching.